hello and welcome to our weekly wrap up and there's a lot going on here. Yes. I'm out here at Fort McCoy with Principal Sales today and we just did the grand opening. Yes. Um, so Ms. Sales, talk about why The Rock is so special here for the community that we serve. Well, as most people know that we're, we are feeding the students from the forest um, and sometimes we have some students that come, come here and they, need, and they have some needs. Um, the biggest thing that we're excited about is we are including, generally The Rock serves the secondary students right. Um, right. and because we're unique and we're a K-8 to school, we're super excited to have them serving both the elementary and the middle. So um, there's lots of little tiny shoes over there yes. and big shoes over here, <laughs> yes. so it's very fun. Yes, it, it's exciting to see how they've laid it out mm -hmm. with the upper grades and the lower grades. Yep. And um, we'll capture this in the video, but there's there are pictures on the wall that show what it looked like before right. they came in and transformed the space. Right. And I know that you shared with me that your um, Family Engagement Liaison will facilitate this access to the students. What do you think yes. that's going to look like? So in general, she'll be out here during some lunches, particularly middle school lunches, because elementary, we kind of we kind of keep them in the cafeteria. But if a, a teacher lets us know that a student has a need, then we'll invite them out here and we'll have them pick out what they need. And um, we really like the idea that the students get to choose Right. from the things that they get. So right. obviously the food or uh, the necessary hygiene items are here, but also the clothes. They might need a uh, certain color shirt for that day that they forgot to bring absolutely. or something, and we might have that. Absolutely. So um, it's real exciting. Um, and so my my family engagement liaison, that's Mrs. Fudge, she will be out here um, to be able to, to help them with that. And when she talks to families, when she hears of a need from a family, she also has that in so that right. helps us know what to do and I know the rock organization um, has always said every time I've worked with them is like if you have a need yes. that we don't have in this place yes. give us a call yeah so I'm super excited yeah. about that and heard that again today <laughs> right as we had a room filled with people that really care about helping every one of our students yes. feel loved and supported and so they can be successful and this is a great illustration of that um, not just everywhere but here even in, in right. Port McCoy which um, I'll do a little special shout out because you and I also talked about how this is unique because it is bringing it into our, our, our earlier students, mm -hmm. our, our lower grade students and, mm -hmm. and I think that them feeling a part of their peer group, mm -hmm. um, having just looking at shoes but also there are some, some very basic pieces here, belts and things that sometimes we take for granted, some mm -hmm. extra backpacks that our students may feel embarrassed to ask for, but there's no shame. And it's such a welcome space right. for them to come. Right, and the biggest thing I feel is like they need to know that they matter, no matter yes. what the need is, yes. that every student matters. Yep. And that's yep. why we get into education, yep. is for kids. But so. Well said, that they're seen, and we can give them those foundational needs, get those met so they can be ready to learn. So yep. thank you so much. I'm looking forward to coming back out and, and hearing the um, students that we've served, the stories are so powerful. So yes. thanks yes, for, they all, are. Thanks yep. for all you do. Yep, thank you.